a new school year. January comes heralding the new year with a bang or a pang. The days and months that follow after that comes like a thief, steadily taking up all your time and effort, without you even realizing how soon the minutes and hours slip by. But come June, and your entire system starts beeping in chorus. It's June. It's June! And your default alarm sets the adrenaline high. There's no other time of the year that every human consciously realizes that it is halfway through the year. June is when the air is prickling with excitement. School reopening and familiar, long forgotten faces stirs up the magic in the air, creating a downpour of rain, giggles, and squishy footwear. New clothes and the endless list of excitable loot carried precariously in a school bag that gets immersed in the intermittent rains. But no school year begins without a prayer and a blessing from the eldest in the family. Sadly, all these are just memories of a time that seemed oh so long ago. Schools are screens and classrooms, homes. A slumbering toddler, nudged by his mom, sits rubbing his eyes, facing a person he hardly knows. While across the screen, she tries to win his heart by a charming smile, only to be ignored by the smell of breakfast wafting across the room. A middle schooler is feeling frustrated that another holiday was robbed by the callous attitude of adults that went romping and roaring for a leader that forgot the meaning of the lines that Frost had once penned. But I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep. She stares at the screen, wanting to scream, while her mind sprouts wings and takes her to her playground and friends, half-heartedly taking notes that he dictates, while on the other side he wonders how long he can survive on the new norm called online class. Worries of his home and life battle in his heart as he puts on a brave front to the little ones that treat him as his guru. A high schooler seems numb to school's reopening or closing. Neither makes sense because of the excitement of meeting freshers, having cultures or sports or excursions or even dressing up. See, as did as the exam dates that keep popping up. For them, to study or not to study, that remains the eternal, infernal question. While they feel the heat of the fire that is breathed down on them, from parents, school and the whole country, except of course the bosses in charge of the mess, who are just as clueless as they themselves are. So, as we step into the next academic year, putting on our makeup of enthusiasm and creativity to make another year worth the while for the ones entrusted in our care. As they and we battle it out and our neighborhood becomes war zones of uncertainty and death, let's walk through fire, holding hands, believing that no storm will last forever. Here's me, Shiva, raising a toast to all the teachers, students and parents for another year of online success.